a, that's a wonderful question. I'm glad we started with that. I, I came in here April of 2013, not knowing a soul. I didn't even know where the sanctuary was. And I parked and I kind of followed people going in, sat down, and when they said, stand up and greet the people around you, the people behind me said, are you new? And I said, yes. And they said, we have a Sunday school class that meets in the narthex. After the service, we'd love to have you join us. That was step number one. We were uh, young. Jen and I had moved to, back to Naples. My wife's from here originally. And we we're just looking to connect. And so we found a couple of other young families. And I think at that time, none of us had children. And so we just got together and kind of got a little group going. It was good. It was just to find a time together that we met at church after, um, after a service. I would encourage anyone to come to a group, a small group, because it would further their walk with the Lord and grow in their spiritual life. The, the class that uh, gathered for Sunday school um, was mostly uh, young marrieds with young children, uh, but there were a few old timers uh, allowed to participate, uh, me being one of them. Um, and I found that um, we, we bonded uh, very strongly and socialized as well as studied uh, God's Word uh, together. The two that I've done, I love both and I fall in love with all the people. <laughs> but the, the women's group is great because they, um, the, they take whatever the lesson is and they pertain it to your life. And as a woman, you know, it's, it's more relatable and it's functional for every day for, you know, you can use it every, during the week, the next topic, and then you use that topic through the week so it applies. If someone's on the fence about joining a group, I would think about Corinthians 10.23, and it's about believers making a choice, having the ability to make a choice. And if you, if you have that ability, then why not choose to grow in your faith? I pray that people listen to the messages, the subtle and sometimes overt messages from God, and get involved. Um, it's a way uh, I've developed friendships, uh, deep friendships and commitments, and uh, it's also a way that I have grown my life spiritually. Depending on what you're looking for, what you're interested in, what speaks to you, you can either do you know, something lighter <laughs> or something that has homework that you're committed to. In the end, when we spoke, guess what we did? We applied it to our lives. So either way, you're getting something really good out of it. It's the best. <laughs>